Hello farmers and welcome to the Kenyan farmer. Before starting a farming project, it is advisable to have the soil sampled and analyzed by a good soil lab in Kenya. Your soil samples can be sent to institutions like Kalo, major universities and other reputable organizations that offer such services. It is not expensive and doesn't take long to get the results. In fact, I understand that some companies can do it for you within the same day. Such companies have invested in technologies to do this. Farmers can join to form a group and approach the county government agricultural department and have their soil samples tested at a subsidized cost. Now, once you finally get the results, there are many parameters indicated, but today I want to discuss about soil pH. What is soil pH and why should a farmer care about soil pH? pH can be defined in many complicated terms, but I understand soil pH as a measure of acidity or alkalinity in the soil. The more hydrogen ions concentration in the soil solution, the more acidic it is. Soil pH is a very good indicator of how suitable the soil is for production of a crop. Different crops produce best at specific pH. Most crops will produce best at a pH within 6 and 6.5. pH is represented in a scale from 0 to 14. The number 7 in the middle is the neutral pH. Lower than 7 is acidic and more than 7 is basic. For general understanding, lemons are acidic, while baking soda or wood ash are alkaline. Now, this scale is logarithmic, meaning the gap between the figures is a factor of 10. I mean, a pH of 6 is 10 times more acidic than 7, and a pH of 5 is 100 times more acidic than that of 7. Now that you have understood this, I think you can hopefully appreciate why small changes in pH matters in this scale. So, why do soils become acidic? There are many factors, but I will mention a few. In areas where we have high rainfall, like Kenyan Islands, where they grow cash crops like tea and coffee, these soils can be generally slightly acidic. You may have heard farmers say that their soils don't produce as good as before. There are many reasons, I think. See, the rainwater and sometimes irrigation can dissolve basic cations like calcium and magnesium and carry them through processes like leaching. The same areas have a tendency of using high nitrogen and sulfur fertilizers that make the soils more acidic. Farmers have been programmed that DAP is the only fertilizer that can be used for planting, regardless of the soil condition. The parent material from which the soil is formed can also determine the soil characteristics too. If the parent material is granite, the soil formed becomes acidic while limestone as a parent material will produce alkaline soils. In high production areas, crops over time can use the basic cations like calcium, magnesium and potassium, leaving the soil acidic too. Where the production pressure is high, the demand for the nutrients is high too. These are the areas regarded as Kenyan food basket. Now, for you to generally understand how pH affect nutrient availability in the soil, take a look at this chart. Every agriculture student or even soil scientist know this chart like the back of their hand. If you understand this, you can manipulate the soil conditions to ensure that the best crop production is attained. You may even be in a position to interpret your soil analysis report. I did mention that most crops produce best at a pH around 6 to 6.5. From this chart, it's plain to see that this is the pH range where most crop nutrients are available. You then don't want the pH to be at the extremes. 
Back in high school chemistry, we used to learn that different salts dissolve in different solutions. Some can dissolve completely in acidic solution and not in alkaline solution. It's a similar challenge here. At a lower pH, some soil nutrients can dissolve and become toxic to the plants. Now, I know that aluminium is not an essential crop nutrient, but still, at a lower pH, it dissolves and becomes toxic to the plant. Low pH or soil acidity is not something good. In fact, studies have shown that low pH can adversely affect crop root development. So, if the roots do not develop as expected, how will the crop perform? Acidic conditions will also affect the microbes and the processes that occur in the soil. In fact, some serious diseases become a serious challenge in extreme pH conditions. So, how does a farmer adjust the soil pH to recommended levels? Well, that depends. If the pH is low, then you can use the agricultural lime to increase it. My grandma used wood ash from the fireplace in the kitchen garden and it actually worked. If the pH is too high, then you can lower it by using acidic fertilizers like sulfur-based or high nitrogen fertilizers. And finally, if your pH is perfect, then it's a good practice to add organic matter like manure in your soil to ensure that the soil pH remains stable. See, organic matter acts to improve soil buffering capacity. That is the ability of the soil to resist sudden changes in soil pH. Soil pH is a very important indicator as you can now see. I know there are tools that a farmer can use at the farm level to measure the soil pH. But my best advice to small scale farmers is to have the samples done by the recommended institutions. It's how you can get the whole story. Sure, you can test the pH by yourself, but you need reliable tools. Know how to calibrate them from time to time. Plus, they are not cheap. So, have your soil tested today. You will be surprised how easy crop production can get. You may not even need the kind of fertilizer that you have booked for this rainy season. And now, I want to tell you about Plantix. Plantix is a free mobile phone application that you can download for free from Google Play Store. After you install it, you can use it to take pictures of suspected pests and diseases to get instant diagnosis. That's simple. You can also use Plantix to do fertilizer calculations too. Let's say you have been advised to use 50 kgs of nitrogen and 50 kgs of phosphorus in your farm. You just need to enter this data, your farm size in area, and then press calculate. Within a short time, you will get the exact fertilizer kilos that you will need. Plantix also has an active online community where you can ask questions if you need help too. With Plantix, you will get most of the extension services that you need as a farmer right in your phone. Download and try it today. You will love it. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe and God bless you.